The moment we have all been waiting for. It's time for a new generation. With an announced debut in fall 2021, let's stride into the future and reflect on the G experience in the JPTCG. Stride. It's the new mechanic that defines this era. Stride refers to the phenomena of heroes from the past and warriors from the future being summoned to modern Kray. On the turn you strive, you surpass your limits, evolving into a grade 4 unit, harnessing the power of both your stride and your heart. Your rearguards also gain access to their abilities after generation break, which counts the number of strides face up in your strength zone, evolving alongside you and your vanguard. G Trail Deck 1 Awakening of the Interdimensional Dragon. Introducing the all new Gear Chronicle clan, this trail deck features the iconic Chrono Jet Dragon, not to be confused with the protagonist of the same name, Chrono. And as the name suggests, this clan plays around with the concept of the Gears of Time, Chrono. With some units like Chrono Jet and Amber rewinding your opponent's board, while the Hyrule Monstrosity, that is Mystery Flare Dragon, rewinding your own turn by giving you an additional turn. If you love the sack, this is for you. G Trial Deck 2 Divine Swordsman of the Shiny Star. Of course, the OG protagonist clan still maintains their protagonist status, this time with Rich Boy Kaiba, sorry, I mean Rich Boy Kiba. We now follow a brave new paladin, Altmile, and as usual, these knights do their superior call shenanigans, some like their stride Gablade even during battle, and highlights the idea of powers in numbers. Starting off with Gears, we have Interdimensional Dragon Chrono's Command Dragon, who can return all your opponent's units on hit, and Interdimensional Dragon Ragnarok Dragon, who has Guard Restrict and Extra Critical. I'm sure we both know which one sounds better in Zero. And, uh, oh, Gears also has Legion units. Not that they really saw play in the TCG, but as I mentioned in the past, they could be still good in the Stride era in Zero. Kangaro is represented with the new overlord, Dragonic Overlord, the Cross, who legions with the ultimate, the end. This powerful duel punishes your opponent for both guarding and not guarding, and is king at grinding out games as Kangaro does. In addition, we have Dragonic Blade Master, a new Dragonic unit, which focuses more on the stride mechanic, and we have Flame Emperor, Dragon King, Root Flare Dragon, that obliterates a column quite feisty and was tier 1 back in the day. For Royals, we have Holy Dragon Saint Glow Dragon that gets big and gets a crit, which is always nice. We also get Knights of Fragments, that's an 11k on hit Soul Charge and Counter Charger. Hits numbers, does everything you want it to do, quite nice indeed. OTT is now wrapped by Susano, who can get an extra crit and lets you check the top card when you stride and synergizes well with their new stride, Sword Deity of the Thunder Break, Take Mikazuchi, who lets you selectively draw from the top of your deck. OTT doing OTT stuff. And last but not least, we have Nova Grapplers receiving their fan favorite Extreme Battler archetype, led by Victor alongside their initial stride support, Medio Kaiser Victoplasma. What they do is simple, exactly what you expect from Nova Grapplers. Restanding rearguards and restanding vanguards. And one more thing, 
Lastly, we have Crate Elementals with its one soul rep this set in Miracle Element Atmos. Printed as a promo time and time again, this unit lets you can last one for 10k, and it's all we got for all the other clients for now, so it is what it is, and um, honestly, a lot of people just had to play them. Oh, and one more, more thing, Stride Butters are a thing. Grade 1 to the ability to increase its grade by 2 to fulfill the stride cost. Very important, if you're considering playing any of these clans down the line, you'll probably need a playset. They also help you fix your ride as well. And if you're asking why, go watch my Legion vs Stride video. Stride cost is, is going to be expensive in Zero, and um, these units, you definitely will, um, will find them handy. So yeah, that's the foundation of G. Of course, for Zero, they do tend to switch things around, whether that's sets or clans or units from time to time. So treat this as a celebration and reflection of the TCG and um, more of a good place to start taking notes of what to expect. In terms of implications towards Zero, some clan mechanics just perform better in Zero over the TCG. Stuff like OTT and Takemikazuchi, that was quite underwhelming, could be great simply because card advantage is hard to come by. Stuff like the cross might not be as strong since guarding isn't really an option, so it loses out on some pressure. Well, but then again, you can then set it up and guarantee the specific outcome you want. So what I'm trying to say is that it really depends on how they translate the cards to zero and really needs to depend on what cards we have to play with. But yeah, let me know which clan you like the most from this video down below. Whether that's from the nostalgia, from the TCG, or excitement to play them in Zero. I'm super interested to know your story and what the future holds for you. This video, if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already and want to see more. And until next time, bye!